So the countdown to the royal wedding is on, as you know, and as Meghan Markle prepares to wed her prince, she needs to learn some important royal rules. Here to break some of them down is American-born, former Lady of London Bravo cast member and current Viscountess Hinchinbrook, Julie Montague. Oh, it's so fun to talk to you. Oh, thank Hi, you thank you for being Hi, here. Thank you. Thank so you, you were born in Illinois. Yes. You were over in, in London, and you met this cute guy, and yeah. you're dating for three months. And then what? What, did, what was the first clue that he it. was a royal? That's it. Okay, so the first clue was again after dating three months when he pulled out a credit card, and it said Viscount Hinchingbrook. But if you can see, Viscount is spelled with an S. And I thought it rhymed with discount. So I said, why does your credit card say Viscount Hinchinbrook? And I think he was quite horrified that I made that huge mistake. And anyway, he then had to explain to me for 45 minutes that he is, um, his family is the Sandwich family. So the Earl and Countess of Sandwich are my in-laws now. And he will He will be the Earl. Yes. And, and will you be the Countess? Countess of Sandwich, yes. So exciting. Yes. So she's our own American gone royal, you know, person right yes. here in-house. Yes. Um, and in... And, Speaking of houses, yours is quite lovely. Uh, it's like one of the nicest houses in England. And so this is what's going to happen to Meghan Markle, too. She gets plucked out of relative obscurity. You know, she was on TV here yeah. in America, but she didn't have some fancy background, nor did you. No. And no. so what are some of the rules you think she's going to have to, like, what are the weird ones that you were like, huh? Well, I think, first of all, the, the biggest sort of weird rule for me was learning how to set a table. And I'm going to be honest, learning how to basically hold a fork in my left hand and a knife in my right hand. Oh. And, you know... As Americans, we eat with our right hand fork, and we only use the knife if we have to cut up something, and then we put it... No, no, no. You're always fork, left hand, knife, right hand, and cutting really? it up. Yeah, and then, you, and then you have to place it when you're finished a certain way, and when you're not finished, but you're in mid-sentence, you have to place it a different way. It's, the did fork and knife is complicated. Did somebody sit you down and walk you through all this? My sister-in-law did. My okay. sister-in-law, and still to this day, 20 years on, still has to tell me. Even if you're eating, like, mashed potatoes, you have to use your left hand? Yes. To scoop them up? Yeah, peas. Even those little peas, you're using it. Who knew? It's yes. like this. We knew the Brits drove on the left side of the road, but they're really committed to the left. I mean, I had no idea. <laughs> That's exactly All right, so what else? So curtsying is apparently a big thing. <laughs> So curtsying is a big one. So cur Megan is going to have to curtsy. She's going to have to curtsy to the Queen, to Prince Philip, to Prince Charles, to Camilla, to William, and to Kate. And there is this law that's like she's going to have to curtsy to the blood princesses when she's not with Harry. So she will have to curtsy to Princess Eugenie. Anybody who outranks her? Is that what yeah, happens? That's what it is. Do you mind, can I just ask you, can you show us a curtsy? Oh God! Re you don't really? know how. You yeah, know I, how. I no, no. Do you I, mind? I would like to try it. Like, okay, really? this is this is my, what my instinct says. Okay. My instinct says, yeah, it's that, it, you just don't. You don't have to do a mudra though okay. with your. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? Yeah. So it's just it's really just behind, and you just. That's that. it. Okay, that's, that's it. not so bad. That's it's not so bad. All it's right, just so she, little, it's a little bend of the knee. You, you don't right? have to, to bow can, the head. Well, you, you kind of look down, so you look down. I'm picturing, I'm glad we had this talk, because, you know, I'm going to the royal wedding, and I can, I'm not, not really a guest, I'm covering it, but I just picture myself bumping into the queen and being like, um, uh, I'm not wrong, is that wrong? <laughs> I'm sure she would love that. Anyway. <laughs> Anything else she needs to know besides the table and the curtsy? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch of silver pots, you know, there's, there's silver that I still to this day, I'm like, wait, what is that silver pot used? So when you dress a table, you know, you've got pots for like sauces and gravy and you're like, is that a, is that a water pot or is that a coffee pot? And what's this porridge? You know, I think a big one is the big porridge pot, which we in America call it oatmeal, but my four kids are now addicted to porridge and they're like, mom, do not call it oatmeal. It is porridge. And I thought it was difficult being a middle-class girl marrying somebody from the mainline Philadelphia. <laughs> Poor Megan. <laughs> Listen, you, I yeah. love your personal... You have to come back because love your to. personal story is spectacular, and thank I love you. what you do. Thank, thank you, you for thank being you. here Thanks today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. The Vibe Countess. You can catch Julie in the Smithsonian Channel's Million Dollar American Princesses, Meghan Markle, this Sunday night. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.